Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, and in last episode, our first game of the new season with a new look team, we lost 3 to 1. And we also lost uh, Thacker for three matches, keeping up the tradition of uh, us losing midfielders for stuff. So, we are going to be taking on Sacramento today. And Sacramento is one of the teams that was relegated from the first league. So, you know, they're gonna be a pretty good team. Now here's how we're going to work this out. I'm thinking that we're going to be bringing Roman down to give us a chance for crosses with Hemp Hill. They don't have a defending midfielder, so we can easily get it from Peterson to Roman. And Peterson, of course, will be taking Thacker's place, so we get Peterson some nice experience during this. They do have a a wing forward, so Hull is going to stay out on the wing there, and we're going to just keep, keep going here and hope things are going well. Uh, Culp is going to be dangerous with that level 3 rainbow feint. I consider actually yeah we'll move hull in the way it's not necessarily going to make it that much easier but at least he has reaction and if culp goes for thornton then we have dos to help out so that'll be the adjustments for right now and i think that is it so we are going to be getting into our match against sacramento we'll see if we can do a good showing for ourselves, because otherwise we're going to be in a bit of a hole to start the season. But Sacramento will start with the ball. Gaines. Can't get it by Bowers. Nicely done. But it's immediately taken away by a dame who goes for the shot, and it is intercepted by Bowers. Pass goes to Peterson. Peterson could go to Hemp Hill here, which I think makes the most sense. And he could go for the shot, but that's probably not going to be a great idea. He's just going to go off to the side now. And overcomes Billingsley, who's going to use slide tackle, and he does take it away. But opens up that middle, so Hemp Hill could go in there now. Gets it by Roman, and... Nehera, Nehera, uh, however you want to pronounce that, comes over. Bowers comes over and is able to take this. And is going to pass to Greer. With Heron in the way, it might be a little difficult to keep this, but Greer does get it. The lofted pass, trying to get it to Culp, is not going to work out. And in goes Hemp Hill for this. Hull manages to take it. And is going to pass to Peterson. And Peterson is going to try the lofted pass that does not get to Hemp Hill. Billingsley comes down for it. And Culp is in the box now, so we're in a bit of a dangerous spot. Uh, that is a l very good control there, so it's going to be difficult to take this away, and Hemp Hill is unable to. So, Roman is just going to press, and we'll see how Sacramento counterattacks with the Dame now in the middle. The lofted pass isn't intercepted by Bowers, And overcomes Woodson for this. And Woodson goes for the shot, and Hodges can't save it. I've been really disappointed with Hodges' play so far this season. He has been unable to give us, well, pretty much what we need here. Oh, that's right, I needed to do a different thing to get this. But we're going for the cross here. 
And it's saved! Hemphill had the shot against Van Dyke, but it was saved. Heron comes down for... Heron comes over, and passes to Nahera. Now, Hemphill is off sides now, so that's going to be a little difficult to deal with. Bowers is motivated. And we don't really have a great opportunity here. They might bring up a dame, but we're just going to hold this one for the moment. Nahara is going to press, and Billingsley is going to be coming up for this. Can he take it away? Yes, he can. Billingsley with the ball. Passes to Woodson. And once again, we've got Bowers coming back for this. And he's going to try and pass it to Greer. It goes to Heron instead. And over goes Culp. And Greer intercepts the pass. And that is halftime. Sacramento currently leading one to nothing on Woodson's shot there. We've only had one real opportunity and it didn't exactly go the way we were hoping it would. So we're going to try again, same strategy as last time, and hope that this time Hemp Hill can actually get the ball. Now I could false kick him out now, but unfortunately I can't do the nutmeg afterwards, so it doesn't really matter what order we do this in. But Roman... He's going to try and give us another shot, and Hemphill puts it in the net to tie the game. Nicely done by Roman and Hemphill, and I'm not entirely sure why Woodson and Culper um, are consoling each other. It wasn't like they were back on defense, but Sacramento will start out with the ball now. Can Gaines get it by? Gaines passes to Starnes here. Starnes moves down and Doss can't take it. So this is going to be a difficult one. We need Childress or, or Hodges to do something and the header is saved by Hodges. I didn't expect they were going to go for the cross there. I'm going to roll it out to Doss. Doss is going to pass to Peterson and Peterson is going to pass to Hemphill who at least has a chance to keep it. And he does keep it from Billingsley. Can he keep it from here? No, he cannot. He is motivated, but they're probably not going to keep it in the area. No, Gaines comes over for it. Bowers comes over and takes this. And he's going to try to loft a pass that doesn't get to Hemphill. It just goes past Heron, who comes down for it. Is he going to pass to one of the defenders here? He's moving out to the side and is holding this one. Could Hemphill perhaps take this away? Yes, he can. Hemphill takes it. But now he's got to get it by and that's probably not happening here but he's gonna he's gonna try anyway and it's kicked away by a motivated heron it was unlikely that we were gonna get it past but it was worth a shot and heron moves out to the side and we'll hold this one overcomes bowers for this bowers can't take it away but he's got another chance and he does take it away this time. Bowers is very busy in today's game. And Heron takes it back, passes to Billingsley, and Billingsley moves out to the side. We're going to move Childress back 
Roman's coming over and Roman's going to press. I don't want Billingsley running up the side. And Culp is already in a dangerous position. And Culp moves in. Pass is going to Gaines. He's got the... He's got... A very good chance. And he gets it by. And Culp has level three rainbow feint. And he can't get it by! Hodges! Hodges saves it! A level three rainbow feint was not enough! Das gets it. Passes to Peterson. Peterson. Passes to Hemphill. And it's going to be up to Pitts to take this away. He does take it. But it might be too late for a counterattack. And Heron moves back. And we have a chance here. Hemphill takes it. Hemphill. Yeah, that, that was a smart move on Heron's part to move in. But we do still have a shot. Hemphill shoots it and it's saved, but out of bounds. We have a corner. Now, they don't have the strongest people when it comes to control. So we're going to put Hemphill here. And we're going to... We're going to bring up... Doss and hope that he can also get position if possible. So Heron's going to help out in front. We're taking the chance. We, If we can come away with a win in this game, it'll be huge. And Hemphill lost position. And Doss lost position there as well. Can we get anything? No! It is knocked away and Greer moving up is not enough. That will end the game. One to one. Sacramento and Manchester tie. We had an opportunity there. We really had a, a chance to win this game, but couldn't quite come away with it. Still a good effort there. Required. I, I criticized Hodges earlier, but that last save was really good. Peterson leveled up. Good progress there. Hinojosa is very close. Next game, he'll level up. No one is going to be making... Yeah, no one's going to be specialization ranking up. But we're getting close with Thornton. Thornton getting the center defender will be crucial for Thornton. Uh, as for everyone else, Peterson made some progress... Hemp Hill is getting closer and closer, but he's still got a ways to go. Greer has some progress made. But that is it. We came away with a 1-1 tie. Oklahoma City beat Bismarck. Tampa beat Topeka. Little Rock beat San Jose. Memphis beat Madison. Albuquerque beat Anchorage. And Jacksonville beat Honolulu. Which puts us in 10th as the only team other than Sacramento, with a draw now. And our next game will be against Topeka. And we've had some good games against Topeka in the past. What is their defense looking like? They've got a lot of center defenders there. With one defender like that. That's a, quite the strange setup, I gotta say. This is a team that I really think we can beat, even without Thacker, so we're going to really try for it, because we gotta stay out of that relegation zone. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode as close as it was towards the end there, and I hope to see you all next time. Have a great day, and happy gaming.